Tonight, KITV4 uncovers more about the sportsman, lawman, and lover of princesses who died in a shooting over the weekend in Kahalu. It's pretty fascinating stuff. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has new information. She joins us live from the newsroom. Catherine. Well, Paula, we're getting information from New Zealand media about the victim. They are identifying as 65-year-old Josh Lievaa, who was shot in the head with a rifle. The 65-year-old man is a former New Zealand police detective uh, who represented that country in the Rugby World Cup in 1975. Now, TVNZ One News recently did stories about his link to an immigration scheme involving Tongan families hoping to secure New Zealand citizenship. Decades ago, Lieva was also linked to two Tongan princesses, one of whom he secretly married but whose marriage was later annulled. That marriage was annulled because marriage between commoners and royalty was forbidden. He joined the New Zealand police force in 1980 where he spent 10 years but made headlines again when details emerged of his affair with another Tongan princess. Leava'a also became involved in Tongan politics and became the driving force behind the New Zealand Tongan movement for democracy. Now, the accused shooter, 18 year old Samuela Mataele, has been charged with second degree murder, terroristic threatening, and a firearms charge. Bail is set at $250,000, and he is expected to make his first appearance in court tomorrow. Those close to the family say the suspect is known to have struggled with mental illness. They tell KITV Mataele's father was a caretaker of the property where that shooting took place and that Leava'a was staying on the premises. Now, uh, New Zealand media is also reporting that Leva's relatives plan to bring his remains back to that country for burial. Back to you.